Clippy doodles that have the flat clamp. I, I pinned up my hair with these new clip things that have the, the flatter teeth. And honestly, like, I didn't even really do anything different in terms of the architecture. And it's like, like a full on, like, curl going on. I don't know how long that will last. My hair does not usually hold any sort of curl. And, you know, I tend to look like a sea vegetable. So I'm pretty happy with those little um, clampy doodles. They are um, a lot more difficult to manipulate though um, in terms of o the opening um, mechanism. Uh, it's not as, uh, as easy to do as the other ones, but I kind of liked them. Um, I think they would be fantastic if you were trying to do some sort of more intricate hairstyle than I do um, and you, know, you wanted to, uh, to have the hair uh, kind of a little bit more neatly placed or something like that. Um, but anyways, this morning I just, um, you know, I had that watermelon that I purchased, I don't know, two weeks ago, and it was just kind of incubating in my fridge. So I went ahead and uh, sliced him up, so he's good and ripe and looks delicious. Um, one baby watermelon uh, yielded quite a substantiative amount. And of course, I've got Totoro here rocking along. Okay, somebody, one of you guys clued me into the fact that this is supposed to be a chinchilla. I had no idea. Um, and then I've got, I'm rocking my mom's Naples koozie yet again in my mermaid cup here with Milan water. And sad news, I have completed yet another jar of the beauty dust. Um, <laughs> I am just totally obsessed with the beauty dust, you guys. I like. I don't think it's doing anything for my skin, and like, as far as health benefits, like I've said on here before, I cannot comment on that. I'm just obsessed with the way it tastes. Like, I just think it makes the coffee taste so delicious, and I do, you know, I do like it. So, but yesterday, hanging out with my mom, guys, I got the hook up. Let me show you. She hooked me up. She totally hooked me up. New pot holders. Look how awesome. I am so excited. These, like I've said, look how they're just the best. And see, they, what I love about them is they have this diagonal component here. Um, and I think that's just the way that the stitching, maybe she changes the direction of the stitch, but it collapses easily exactly where you need to, okay? Um, and it's they're so malleable. They're easy to wash. They don't like, I don't even know what kind of yarn she uses in this, um, but they just, I just love them. And look what else she hooked me up with. I think she whipped this up while we were sitting at the beach. How cute is that? It's a little baby pineapple. I'm so excited. She threw that in there as a little surprise. I have the best mom, you guys. Um, but today, I unfortunately, there are some things at Crozier I think I need to pick up, so I'm deciding if I'm gonna go out or ignore that. Um, and yeah, I'm also gonna place a Vitacost haul today. Um, oh, I wanted to show you guys some stuff on the Vitacost website. All right, so first up, I just went to www.vitacost.com, and one of the things I want to point out is this is the Ebates um, extension. If you guys haven't checked out Ebates, I highly recommend it. And you see here, it just pops up, and it says activate 3% cash back. So let's pretend like I'm gonna gonna start buying stuff, and it just does that, right? And so congratulations, you are on your way. And it just automatically applies that to my um, shopping cart. Um, and so if you guys are wondering about the extension, um, you download it from the Ebates website and then the place to find it, at least in Apple, because I didn't really know this. So, and, and you guys probably already know this and you're like, why are you showing me this? But if you don't, I think it's helpful. You go, at least in, in my Mac, this is how I find it to make sure I have it. You go under window up here at the top and you see this button extensions. You press on it and it takes you here and it shows you all of the extensions that you have and I can see that I have it here and then I can see that it's checked okay and if I ever want to get rid of it like I decide Ebates is annoying and irritating which I don't know why you would you can just hit delete um, which I won't do first of all up here at the top I really love the fact that you can um, uh, it's pretty easy to search the site for different things So I'm going to compare these three and I'm just going to click on the 
compare button. And look at this, guys. How cool is this? It pulls them up and puts them all three of them next to each other. You can do three at a, up to three at a time. And it tells you um, which is in stock, what the savings percent savings versus the retail is on Vitacost. So apparently this Thompson Nutritional Yeast Flakes is 45% cheaper than it would be in the retail shop. The number of servings per bag. Then it pulls up the nutritionals on each of the products. Um, so you can see like does one have more um, of X, Y, and Z vitamin, etc. You know, that kind of thing. And then if there are any other ancillary ingredients which these don't have in them, then you can see that. But it basically, not only does it compare the cost and the, then it, then it puts the over, some of the overall, it pulls some of the highlights of the overall ratings and the descriptions. Um, but I wanted to share that with you all because I thought it was helpful. Guys, I'm about to head out, potentially get a little lunch and uh, run some errands at Crow Hair. Um, but um, skincare update. All right, so. So I just put on the Ordinary's Natural Moisturizing Factor on my hands, and I think it's great in that regard, okay? As I mentioned in sort of my first impression, I think this is too occlusive on the face, frankly, um, but I just put it on my hands, and um, I actually really like it in that way. So as a comparator would be, in my opinion, the Cetaphil Baby as far as stuff with uh, the lipids in it. Um, and that this has sunflower oil in it. And it also has a variety of things like squalene. And um, it's kind of something similar. But this... Um, I prefer the ordinary over this, honestly. This this is supposed to be a lotion for your baby on the body, um, but it is heavily fragranced. Um, and while it is paraben-free, colorant-free, mineral oil-free, hypoallergenic, it's really not hypoallergenic. It's got a ton of fragrance in it. And if you have an impaired skin barrier, um, fragrance is a, is a potential. You have the you have a great potential to develop an allergy to fragrance. So, I just yeah. This is losing, despite the sweet little bu bunny here under the marigold, I'm guessing, because of the calendula. Um, this is not a uh, cruelty-free product, whereas the ordinary is. Um, no, I don't. I don't know that you could put this all over a baby, and um, or, or that it would go very far in that regard. But what I'm saying here is that if you're looking for moisturizers that have these lipids in it, I liked this on the body. Uh, too occlusive on the face. This is fine for the body, but has a detestable odor, and if you have an impaired skin barrier, um, be aware of the fragrance uh, could be allergenic, as well as that calendula. So yeah, that is that. <laughs> So I came over here again for a lettuce switch. The black bean lettuce switch is turning out to be a good one. I really like it. And the guy who works here apparently subscribed to the channel. So, hi, if you're watching. I'm over here in Kroger, um, and I'm over by the um, kind of cruelty-free, organic, uh, vegan-friendly, what have you, sunscreens they've got here in this little kiosk. And look, apparently somebody was snacking. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyways, just ignore that. So this one, Sensitive Mineral Sunscreen. It's fragrance-free, SPF 30. That's great. And it's zinc titanium dioxide only. I bet this is a really good uh, vegan option, you guys. Um, this seems like a really good vegan option. Has anyone tried this one? I really like it. It's safe for the coral reef, apparently, too. I really like the idea of this. Um, they also have a sport one that is SPF 45. <clears throat> oh, again, zinc titanium dioxide only. There's the bunny. There's the bunny. And it's also fragrance free and safe for the reef. And then here's one for kiddos. SPF 45. This is a chemical sunscreen. Mm, might, might sting kids' eyes. It has a lot of fragrance in it. And then, you all know I'm not really a fan of the sprays because they don't reliably distribute the sunscreen molecules. This, I would say, is a no-go. But, but I do like the looks of this one. Look, guys, my girl Hills has uh, veggie burgers in the freezer section here. Have any of you all had these? 
Let's check out the uh, ingredients. All right, of course they're free from the common allergens. They've got millet, adzuki beans, whole grain quinoa, coconut oil, sweet potato, onion, green chili, salt, psyllium husk, arrowroot, apple cider vinegar, cumin, garlic, chili pepper, oregano, lime juice. I bet these are good in a pinch. It comes with two though. For $3.49, dang hills. This is like White House grade right here. <laughs> All right. I would like to try these sometime. The root veggie burger, that one also looks good. And then she's got a black rice burger, but I can't justify the price. All right, so I'm over here in the um, kind of cruelty-free, I guess, section of Kroger skincare. Uh, I'm interested in their um, very emollient body lotion. I bet this is a good one. It's Fragrance-free, vegan. Oh, yep, it's got fragrance. And you all know that unscented does not mean fragrance-free, right? Because what they do is they put something called masking fragrance in the product to hide the smell of all the flowery stuff. And you can still react to that ma masking fragrance if you have fragrance allergy. I also want to point out that I think it's equally important that not only the product be actually, I think it's equally important that we also consider uh, cruelty free to people <laughs> and how employees are treated and people are treated. Um, so I like the idea of, I guess, fair trade and not uh, having people, I don't even know what actually goes into something being called. I don't know all the ins and outs of what constitutes being fair trade. Um, but I'm really disturbed by exploitation of um, impoverished people and, and un, un, unsuitable and unsuitable working conditions. That really bothers me. Um, it's hard to know what products do that. You know, does cruelty free um, imply cruelty free to people too? Um, should. Um, so I'm, I'm sporting the um, I'm sporting the um, waterproof version today because we have a few rain droplets. And can you guys tell I'm on? I've got the overhead lighting here. So as I mentioned in my video, can you tell how dark my eyes are? And then look, all of a sudden I have a brightening effect. You see that? Well, hey guys, I'm back from Kroger. I had to pick up some celery because I wanted to make a uh, kind of veggie broth and make some of my brown lentils for the week. I basically rinse it off and then I soak it in a mixture of half water with uh, white vinegar and baking soda. And then I just put it into a clean mason jar filled with cold water and I just store it up right in the fridge um, and then kind of pick out of it. I find it stays a lot fresher this way. I don't know, share your thoughts below. It's getting to be the time of year where I like to have um, more salsa. Um, and so I bought a had um, a dollar back on Mrs. Renfro's. I, I don't think I've ever had Mrs. Renfro's salsas before. Um, apparently they come from Fort Worth, Texas, which is uh, um, uh, part of Dallas. Or, correct me if I'm wrong, it's near Dallas. I don't want to misspeak there. Um, but Mrs. George Renfro and her husband began their family food business in 1940. Um, but yeah, I'm stoked to try this. The salsas here are just really awesome. I mean, it's like hard to choose one. And I got this medium one. I really like spicy, but I figured I would stick with a medium one. I love these lentils though, guys, that I'm getting from Vitacost. I mean, they are just a win. I did put my Vitacost order in today, so I'm excited to show you guys what I got when it gets here. I didn't get any skincare, but have you guys checked out their skincare? I mean, talk about vegan um, options and cruelty-free options. They really have a ton. There's one company on there that has a, what I think could be a cruelty-free Hydro Boost. Okay, so I feel like this once upon a time was on, um, 
the Home Shopping Network, correct me if I'm wrong, the CSI brand, it sounds like the FBI or something clandestine. Um, but I really like the ingredient profile. It's basically water, squalene, it's got squalene in it, um, which, you know, is one of those soft calls as an emollient, but is pretty inert and unlikely to cause um, problems and not gonna like, it's not something that's gonna clog your pores. It's not an, an oil in that sense. It's got holy, hyaluronic acid, um, similar to the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. It is, um, you know, pounded to be hypoallergenic. It has no fragrance like the Hydro Boost that I've been using or colorants. Um, and it is, as far as I can tell, it is cruelty free. It says free of animal testing, parabens, synthetic preservatives, fragrances, and colorants. So I'm kind of excited about that. I'm, I'm not going to order it now because I've got a jar of Hydro Boost and then I have some other things that you all have wanted me to review so um, I'm not gonna get ahead of myself and just start buying it too too much but if you have used this please let me know if you recommend that this be one that I try that is what I'm doing but anyway like I said I'm gonna let that simmer and while it's simmering I'm gonna get dressed to head to the gym and then I'm gonna turn the stove off and when I get back I'm gonna crank it back up and add the lentils and I'll check in with you guys later while I'm while I'm not fond of the natural moisturizing factors plus HA as a as being applied to the face, I don't think they're good there. I gotta say, using this as a hand cream, I'm loving it. I think it's fantastic that way. I think they've made a good product and they're just selling it wrong. Um, and um, I've continued to play around a little bit here and there with the Alpha Arbutin 2%, okay? I've just kind of been, um, you know, uh, I've just kind of been playing around with it and adding it um, alongside in, con in conjunction with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost after I put this on my wet face. I kind of put a few drops of this here and there. Um, it seems to be fairly innocuous. Um, I can see no harm in, try in giving this a try so far. It's fairly inert. Um, whether or not the alpha arbutin in this is, is functional or active or worthwhile, who knows? I haven't been using it obviously long enough or consistently enough, um, but it seems to be okay. Another skincare update. I'm continuing to use this Curel hydro Hydrotherapy on my body in the shower after um, uh, to wet skin on my legs and it's okay. I actually like it um, And one way I've used it as is as a shaving cream when I shave my legs I used it tonight because honestly, I think this summer I can get away with exclusively using something like this because the <laughs> Storms rolling in the high the humidity here in Houston You know, it's honestly not really fair for me to talk to you guys about dry skin because I mean right now The humidity is, is creeping up and that works in my favor I think I'm going to be able to just get away with using the rest of this up uh, in these upcoming weeks um, to my wet skin as I've been doing. I really like this. Will I repurchase this? Not without a coupon. If you have a Kroger in your area, they happen to be offering a $2 off coupon on this if you want to give it a whirl and you're motivated. Um, it's nice, but it I believe it's quite pricey and can be hard to find. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Some of you have said you've had a hard time finding it. Finding it. I like it, but it's not, it's not as good as just, you know, a CeraVe moisturizer on its own. I don't think they're any any different, but I am continuing to use it and I do like it. So that's just a little update. I do, I am enjoying the ordinary products that I've tried so far. I think tomorrow's video will be a, kind of a final rundown. I haven't yet tried out the fountain, so um, and maybe I'll try that out tomorrow for you guys on, on, the, on the show. Um, so stay tuned for my final thoughts and kind of a, a rundown. And yeah, I'm going to conclude the vlog here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.